If the earth is a living being, that means one thing is it makes decisions. That's the, that's the basis, the nature of a living being. Well, from all the way from a bacteria to a human being to the earth, they make decisions. And we might well wonder what they are. And they have emotions. There's a voice you can hear in the roar of the sea. There's a song to be heard on the wind in the trees. And it might take a while for it to come clear. But the heart of the earth is the voice that you hear. The very first first day took place on April 22nd, 1970. Um, and at that time, more than 20 million Americans participated in events and, and uh, demonstrations throughout the country. Well, it's our shared planet. Um, people all across the globe live on those, this most marvelous place. And I think the important thing about Earth Day is to remind us how we need to care for the Earth. This Earth Day is challenging as we find ourselves facing two crises, COVID-19 and climate change. Both are changing the way we live, work, and relate to each other. Crises have a tendency to expose the cracks in our current social, political, and economic systems. But we also have an opportunity to build our collective resilience to the climate crisis. This Earth Day, we have an opportunity to diagnose our society and its structures, and to identify the kind of world we want. We can present alternatives for building a healthier system for both us and our environment. Or one of the ways of doing that is by doing a better job with recycling, uh, by trying to remove some of the litter from our streets and parks and, and, uh, and riverbanks, um, and also by being very active or proactive and uh, in support of uh, legislative initiatives uh, aimed at reducing the carbon footprint. So we're doing this because the city is faced with rising costs for uh, dealing with recycled materials. For, so when there's contamination in a recycling bin uh, that's picked up curbside, it costs the city hundreds of thousands of dollars a year uh, to have waste management pick that up because of the level of contamination in the recycled bins. 59% of all of the electricity used by our customers is covered by the renewable attributes of generators. This winter, National Grid's basic service rate is about two cents higher than our aggregation rate. So for the average Lowell resident, that can translate to about $10 savings per month throughout the winter. We also have this rate that is stable through the 26 month period. On this 50th anniversary of Earth Day, now more than ever, we need to take care of the earth. We depend upon it and everybody else does too.